I recently got the Lord of the Rings adventure card game from my fellow legendary tactician Flash. I'm going to walk you through the basic tutorial here today on legendary tactics. Now I'll say that the tutorials are a little bit on the longer side here. I'm going to walk through the uh, this as fast as I possibly can. I'm going to skip all the narratives. Uh, there is a, a bit of chit chat though, uh, and it's not something you can skip through. So you can see we've got three heroes here, and these are uh, key. If we lose all three, then we're uh, we lose the the quest. Um, so if we lose them in battle or whatever, um, you start every quest with five cards, and uh, so we can examine the uh, the different cards here. So you've got uh, uh, various uh, events and and allies and so forth, and we'll we'll get into uh, what all this means uh, in a in a minute here. So each card has its own abilities, but for the moment, um, what the most important thing is cost. And every round you gain three resources that you can spend to play those cards. And if you don't spend it all, you can actually carry it over. So you can put off uh, buying uh, cards and getting them into play and kind of save up for a more expensive card that you uh, think might be more useful uh, to you. Um, and so that's a very key uh, component. And there's a little bit of chit chat again <laughs> as i said i'd love to uh, get through this tutorial with you as quickly as possible but um there's only there's a bit of this narrative stuff that you can't uh, can't avoid so all right so in order to continue the journey and this is kind of one of the neat uh mechanics of this game so in this case we must find the path okay so that's the goal that we have to advance the story and when you complete the necessary tasks, the goal will update automatically. And uh, you can click on the, the location banner in the center of the top of the screen there to get your, uh, your goal. Now, uh, this here, this door, is the objective. And what, that, what you need to do is essentially resolving them uh, by uh, spending, getting your characters to essentially spend what they call progress or apply progress to advance in your quest. Now, on these characters, you can see the two, one, and the eight. The, the middle one, it's supposed to represent a, a book, actually, is uh, that's the, the progress stat. And so uh, by using that progress, uh, you can essentially use up that uh, the requirement, which in this case is 10, and once it uh, clears, then you move on to the next uh, part of the quest. So it's kind of a neat, uh, neat mechanic there. Now the game is played in rounds, and uh, it starts with the upkeep uh, phase. And there are certain abilities, like with Arwen or Legolas, you can see uh, it says upkeep on her card, restore one health to one character, and uh, or deal one damage. That's the ranged attack of Legolas. So. Um, the, uh, just so you can see the characteristics, you can see this is uh, an axe uh, blade. Uh, that is the attack strength of the, uh, of the character. The willpower, uh, essentially the, the, the book there, that is, advances the objective. And this is uh, the health of the character, the amount of damage that the unit can uh, suffer before being defeated. Okay, and uh, so we'll... Uh, we'll take a look at these upkeep uh, skills here. So uh, sometimes they're automatic. Sometimes you need to choose a target. So for uh, Legolas, for example, we need to choose a target for that damage. So we're going to pick this uh, this uh, creature, this spider here. Um, Arwen's uh, ability didn't trigger because none of the characters are wounded. So we can just uh, skip that. And every at the beginning of every round, Round uh, Sauron, who's this uh, red three up here, gains resources that are spent to play cards. So you're kind of playing against an AI, I guess you could say. So that's the upkeep uh, phase. And then after that, we move into the heart of the game where uh, you are playing cards, you're spending resources, and so forth. So uh, as it says, always be careful to read your cards carefully. Um, you can take a single action per turn. You can either act with a character or play a card. And then after you take your action, Sauron does essentially the same thing. And until we run out of actions or choose to pass, then at that point, the round ends. 
the end uh, phase button um, in the digital version is going to end your turn for the round. And once you uh, click that, you, you're, you're stuck. You can't come back and do something at later. Uh, once you've passed, you've passed. Um, so sometimes that can give your opponent, your Sauron in this case, multiple turns in a row. So just be careful about that. Now there are uh, other, essentially the two card types that are available outside of the, the main characters there, the heroes. Uh, you have uh, uh, events, which are things that are sort of single single use, like Lembas, and you've got allies like the Woodland uh, Courier. And those are like additional characters you play down into the, into the center of the board, and then they can take action. So let's uh, take an ally. We're going to uh, take the uh this lookout here and uh, not bad stats actually two two and four and now so our resources went down to one there now sauron gets to go now again an ally is not as powerful as a hero but they're very useful and uh, uh the athelian lookout is a good ally with decent ability scores although no special text some of these will have special text like Westfold uh, Outrider, upon arrival, deal two damage to one unwounded enemy. So that's very handy. Okay, and so you can have up to seven characters in play at one time, and Sauron can have up to eight. So Sauron's going to play Thick Webs, and this is, uh, uh, in this case, uh, Sauron is playing, um, used up two resources to play that. And this is a special kind of objective called a Hazard. And a hazard triggers a negative effect until you resolve it or leave the location. And so normally when you play an ally, and this is very different from a lot of games, <clears throat> when you bring an ally into play, they are ready to go. You can take an action right away on their turn on the next, uh, right after they enter play. But while Thick Webs is active, those uh, allies enter exhausted. So they can't take um, an action until they are ready the next round. <laughs> Yes, exactly. So now it's our turn, and we can attack the enemy, engage the hazard or the objective, or play a card from hand. So um, I think we can um, possibly. Well, tell you what. Let's uh, let's uh, use uh, Arwen here to advance the thick webs, and that clears that off the board. Now we get rats. And rats has an end of round effect. So after all the actions have been done, after you bought all your cards, uh, in the upkeep, uh, or sorry, at the end, if you sorry, if, if you see after upkeep, after upkeep, it says end restore one health. So that means if the rats are wounded but not defeated by the time uh, we both pass, it will restore one health. So there are some things that trigger at the end of the turn. All right. And so we have a few different options here. Um, see, I like this Westfold Outrider, so we can maybe drop we come the Outrider here and we can uh, do some damage on that spider there. And so that was the arrival uh, benefit of that uh, card. And that spider attacks. Um, that uh, attacks Legolas mercilessly. So we're gonna maybe take out these rats here. We won't be able to do it this turn, but as you can see, everyone's kind of exhausting themselves, but we got rid of the rats, which is perfect. And we still have two attacks. So we've got, uh, we have Mr. Baggins here, Bilbo and Legolas gonna shoot that spider now we've really cleared uh away all the enemies so when the round ends um, then every end card effect in play will resolve and any temporary effects for that round expire as well now we don't uh have any end uh effects um now sometimes you'll have a card like spear wall which says this round um so negative two attack strength to any every enemy this round minimum zero um, so that effect would expire right now at the end of the round. So that's just as an example. So here we go. We get all of our characters revived. Uh, now, uh, Arwen's ability, we can heal uh, Legolas. So let's do that. 
and uh, that's uh, we've got no one for Legolas to attack, so we're going to skip uh, upkeep, get our resources, uh, draw uh, card here. So Sauron draws up to five cards every round, but can only play them if there's resources to spend. So now we can utilize this uh, this ability to uh, ad uh, advance. So we're gonna we have to find the path. So we're gonna use Arwen to lower that uh, requirement to uh, to seven, and uh, then uh, an effect is played there. Uh, let's see what the Woodland Courier. So that's actually pretty handy. We'll apply to progress, and that helps just by playing it and here's when it gets kind of interesting because you you technically don't have to uh, attack and destroy an enemy if you're going to pass the uh, advance the uh, the uh, to the next uh, stage here um, now we don't have a lot can we we don't have enough resources for that scout so let's let's just get rid of this spider here and now uh, we'll take out, there we go. And the other two will advance. Now we're just a bit short. It's unfortunate, but uh, there we go. So as you can see, the, the tutorial takes a little while. It's actually a nice tutorial in a way because there's a lot of sort of hands-on uh, stuff. But uh, the, the, the only uh, downside is that uh, it does take a while if you're just kind of looking to illustrate the the game and how it works. So, so we use Bilbo to uh, reach the objective, and so now we are moving on to the next location. So, uh, however, if there was an enemy, every enemy that isn't exhausted at your current location will do one last attack, and any end end effects will trigger. So you just kind of get stung just as you're leaving the location. So. All right, we've completed the goal for this location, and now we're moving on to the next one. And uh, so we need to actually uh, choose the travel button, and that takes us into the next location, which again is kind of a neat uh, way to do it, um, because uh, it makes it you feel like you're moving through a quest and uh, offers some interesting design possibilities, I think, so... All right, so most of the enemies you face are minions, but sometimes Sauron will spend special foes against you, called villains. You gotta say this is the boss fight. Um, these are more powerful than minions, and defeating them is often critical to the success of your quest. So we will, uh, in this case, we have to defeat this uh, middle spider here, the Dark Weaver. Won't be easy, because the villain will exhaust one of your allies each round, and you can't take action with an exhausted uh, character. So we just have to defeat that uh, central uh, spider in order to advance. So the upkeep phase is here. And uh, we can restore health to one character. I'll heal Legolas right up. And we get to choose a target. Of course, we'll choose the uh, the big bad. And this uh, ally here, the uh, Ithilien uh, lookout, is exhausted by the uh, the dark weaver so we need to uh, make some some attacks here so I'm gonna attack with the ally uh, we don't have enough combined attack I don't think uh, for uh, for us to wipe out uh, the that uh, villain this turn let me take a look and see here got some healing uh, got some uh, revenge um, that's uh, an effect that takes place when this character is is hit or damaged. Um, we'll just send everything we got against uh, the. Oh, geez, that uh, hurt a little bit. We're just going to send whatever we can against the uh, the main bad guy here. Now we did lose an ally, so very sad about that, as you can tell. Um, I'm going to uh, deploy uh, this character here. And every exhausted character receives one damage. That's not nice. All right, fine. So we're going to see what we can do to finish off. And then another spider appears, but Arwen is going to deal the death blow to the, uh, the Dark Weaver. And now we have the ability to move on to the next location. So 
Um, so you can see the mechanics of it are pretty uh, straightforward overall. Um, and those are the, essentially the core concepts. So the next video I'll do is uh, teaching you the next uh, level of uh, nuance and sort of what they call the expert stuff. And uh, but uh, until then, we hope you got some value out of this video. And if you did, please take a moment to like, comment and subscribe down below. And thank you so much for watching. This is NATO with Legendary Tactics.